uh, today we are going to talk about the blood blood supply to the brain central nervous system now blood supply to the brain before we really start about the anatomical aspect i want to know that how much percentage of the cardiac output goes to your central nervous system everyone knows that heart is normally producing about 5 liters of blood per minute is that right left ventricle cardiac output per minute is about 5 liters so out of that 5 liter blood which is produced which is the cardiac output normally in a resting person how much is really going to the central nervous system 15% that's very good so about 15% 15% of the cardiac output is devoted to the central nervous system <clears throat> is that right now we have to see how it really goes there fine let's suppose here is your from where we should start the study from the arteries going to the central nervous system or we should start directly from the heart let's start from the heart from the left heart let's suppose this is your left atrium and this is your what is it aorta right aortic arch and uh, here is yes place brachiocephalic trunk that's good and here is your very good left common carotid artery and here it is yes left subclavian right now blood which is going to the central nervous system that is going through two systems right one is called carotid system and second is vertebro basilar system now when we talk about carotid system you know common carotid arteries as they are going upward right they go into what is this carotid sinus and from there there are external carotid and internal carotid right so these are your internal carotid arteries which are headed to central nervous system right so one source of blood supply to the cent one of the major source of blood supply to the central nervous system especially to the brain is internal yes carotid arteries is that right and second source is that there are vertebral arteries which are taking origin from yes subclavian system right vertebral arteries let me make them green but they are not green in fact right so these are vertebral arteries and vertebral artery initially move upward they they are posterior way posterior to the carotid system and eventually they turn medially and yes they will move from here also from the left side move upward this is which artery yes please vertebral artery that's good and vertebral artery of the left side also moves medially right and eventually behind behind the carotid system they ascend upward and eventually move meet together and then yes now this is vertebral artery system right and of course this is right vertebral artery and this is left vertebral artery and this is also supplying to the central nervous system now when we talk about the blood flow to the brain now we have seen that there are two systems one is your carotid system which is also called anterior system which is also called anterior system other is vertebro basilar system which is also called posterior system right so we can say there is anterior system which is carotid system and posterior system which is vertebro basilar system right now first we will discuss into detail vertebro basilar system and after that we will discuss into detail the carotid system supplying the brain now let's go to the vertebro vertebral system now when we talk about vertebral system 
these are the cervical vertebra i'm making a very simple diagram of cervical vertebra is that right what are these transfers processes a very important thing is that in the transverse processes there are foramina in cervical vertebra in the transverse processes there are foramina and through these foramina yes which arteries are going up vertebral, vertebral arteries that is an important point that when vertebral arteries take origin from subclavian system they move upward and medially they reach to the transverse processes of cervical vertebrae and through the, in the within the transverse processes of cervical vertebrae there are foramina they go through those foramina upward is that right and then through the foramen magnum they enter into cranial cavity now through the foramen magnum when they enter into cranial cavity you know they will keep on moving upward and eventually move medially and through the foramen magnum they will go into cranial cavity right now when they enter through the foramen magnum into cranial cavity right exactly at which space they are these arteries are located again listen to the question uh, you know there is central nervous system around that there is pia mater outside that there is subarachnoid space then outside that there is arachnoid matter and then there is dura matter okay let me tell you in a very a very very simple diagram central nervous system yes you will tell me what is it just adjacent to it hurry up yes pia mater outside that what is here yes arachnoid matter and what is the subarachnoid space full of csf, CSF. that's good very good and then of course all of you must be knowing outside there is dura mater it's a very simple diagram right now the question is that when carotid system enters in the cranial cavity and vertebral system enters in cranial cavity the major arteries which are supplying the central nervous system those major arteries including the circle of villus they are present exactly in which area area number 1 area number 2 area number 3 area number 4 look area number 1 is that space space between the dura and arachnoid or area number 2 is subarachnoid space or location between the pia and the central nervous system but usually there is no space there because pia is very faithfully applied with that and then within central nervous system i want to know that when arteries enter into cranial cavity as carotid arteries internal carotid arteries enter as vertebral arteries enter and in the end we'll discuss their circle of villus form all these major arteries are located in which area Two. yeah you think that all of them are present in uh, subarachnoid space you mean that circle of villus is floating into no. csf no. yes you have any different idea you think it is subdural space space number 1 okay people who believe it's space number 1 raise your hand okay this uh, and people who believe it's space number 2 people who believe it's space number 3 <laughs> and people who believe it's space number 4 okay four people four were sure wrong absolutely because these are the small branches which enter here okay listen the right answer is that all the artery major arteries in circle of villus they are really floating into csf <laughs> is that right you have to remember it it means you don't know exactly where the circle of villus is there where the major vertebral arteries basilar arteries and and internal carotid artery and their major branches where they are present they are present outside the central nervous system and of course outside the pia mater these major vessels are present into which space subarachnoid space position number 2 why it is so important to know because you may be knowing that there are special type of aneurysm called berry aneurysms right the